everybody. This is Charles Harper. What I want to do is to get into today uh, the next part of our, uh, our our research series about about how to create your information product. We're talking about doing research in a particular niche. And I want to take a little time to get into some of the personal aspects of this uh, before we move on. And I want to take one aspect of the research process today and break it down. Now, I, there's a concept in, uh, in one of my books called Personal Entrepreneurship, which I call being seated in your, in your market, right? And I'm going to run through this quickly, I mean, because there's a whole system around this, but um, we're talking about here, making sure you understand what you, what you have, what, what skills you have, and these are things that you can develop and get better at. So this is not necessarily something that you're natural at, but you're working at something, getting better at it, that you then take that to the level of expertise, and expertise is what you get paid for in other words you can have skill playing the kazoo if you want to but expertise is what you can do that somebody else is willing to pay you for so taking your skills to that next level I don't really talk a lot about passion I talk a lot about skill you have something you can that you're good at you can get good at expertise which is something that you can then take that level and get paid for it then that you're active in your market. In other words, if you're going to be inside of the of the weight loss niche, I mean that you are that, that you're taking actions, that you are at conferences, that you are researching, that you are uh, experimenting, that you are doing things. And again, this is for success in a market. Now, I'm not saying that you can't. Uh, you can't just get into something and learn it and then uh, just turn it into something. But I'm telling you that even if you have private labor rights content, if you're inside of a market where you are active, then all that does is really amplify what it is that you're getting when you buy uh, private labor rights content. Now we're talking about tactics. Now, have you seen my have you seen my video on the ten essential marketing principles, the tactics, which is where we're talking about the fact that you've got to have your USP, where you've got to have um, where you've got to be doing exponential marketing, where you've got to have your database, where you've got to have strategic alliances, where you're matching the media, where you are doing uh, community service and public relations, where you are doing all uh, uh, direct response marketing or copywriting and you are doing the internet stuff all of that stuff tactics for marketing tactics for promotion that's what that is that's the T education where you are teaching part of what I call my 10 essential principles are that you are actually uh, teaching what it is that you're learning There's, in other words you know, it's not just that you're you're promoting and selling but you are graciously uh, literally teaching other people how to take your expertise and to begin and to gain more success in their life and in their business so that you are actively uh, teaching other people and then development so that you're constantly learning you're constantly on the cutting edge you're constantly literally making sure that you understand the problems that people have remember we talked about the fact that there are there are those 10 frequently asked questions in your niche that you should be you should be finding out about I think Mike Koenig talked about that there are those 10 questions that they should be asking and the only way that you can know what they should be asking is that you're constantly uh, reading you are constantly developing so this really requires you to be a leader and a reader you are inside of the publications you are inside of the books so it's not just a matter of reading blogs you are developing your expertise and again this is what really really means to be in a market and you are taking private label rights content really and then that is how you are able then to create these unique products that I've been telling you about to really cause people to want to buy them this all of this requires what I call four G's and again this is inside of my book called personal entrepreneurship it's not yet out but I, but I can explain to you the principles four G's are this the gifts you have these are things that you can do that other people cannot do right and again this, this really does matter talking about getting to a niche and I'll get to that in a minute uh, you need to have goals in other words you need to have things that you are striving for uh, that 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 are again these are totally unique they're totally personal you are really working towards something this is really what drives your focus your goals need to be specific uh, probably need to have a dollar amount probably need to have have something uh, measurable right so, so in other words you know when you've gotten it right it's something specific it's got your focus it is assignable in other words it's something that you can do you know specifically how to lay out the task Right. So it is assignable. So it's not vague. 
it is also realistic. So in other words, you're not going to say, I'm going to make a million dollars in one day. That's measurable, yes. It's assignable, yes. But it's not necessarily realistic, depending on who you are. It could be. Um, it needs to be time focused. In other words, you've got to have a time frame when you're going to accomplish this thing. Um, and then you need to be willing to be persistent. So your goals should have all of those elements. So you need to have something you can do that other people don't have. And you've already got that. You need to set goals according to these parameters. Again, even inside of a niche, when you get in here, what is your goal? What are you trying to accomplish? Write it down, get it specific so that it drives how you get into the niche and what it is you're trying to do. And you can really eliminate what I call uh, shiny object syndrome where you get distracted if you have goals that are like this, that are that are measured according to these smart P uh, characteristics that you need to be you, you to have gratitude. In other words, uh, there is a level at which you come to terms with what you have and who you are. So you don't wish for what other people have. You don't you don't you're not upset about the fact that, well, I can't sell or I didn't have this kind of background. Do you realize that there's some people that literally wish they had a rough background because it makes them more hungry? You need to be, come to terms and be grateful for who you are. You come to terms. These are my gifts. And now because I've accepted them, I'm going to make the most of them. So you need to be grateful for what you have and who you are. And then finally, you need to have an element in your personal and even in your corporate life of giving. Again, your the money that you're earning can't just be for you. It can't just be for you and your family, you and your community, you and your church. Giving requires you to go beyond what it is you have. Think about the fact that the, our public library system came from an entrepreneur who was willing to give beyond who it was they were in order for us to have these things. If you're in the United States, we have a, a huge public library system was funded by the Carnegies and other rich people. And all the time, businesses, I say this, businesses pay for stuff. So you need to have an element of giving beyond being wealthy, beyond living the Internet lifestyle, giving back with your money and your time to do something. And again, uh, getting into a niche, deciding you're going to build a business really requires you to understand that here's what you're going to do with that extra time. Here's what you're going to do with that extra leverage. You are going to be a giver, a contributor into society. Now, those are the elements that that you want to come and you want to understand as you get into a market, because those will influence how deep you go in and whether or not you're willing to slug it out and to become who it is that you need to be in order to produce either the content or the information that will cause people to want to come to you. We are talking about building the kind of business here, at least with an, as an information marketer, where people are coming to you right now. Again, we can build this whole, we can build an entire business where we're going to chase it, right? Where we're going to do the SEO so we can attract people. But what we want people to do is we want people to hear of us. We want people to get the word about us. We want people to recommend us. We want people looking for us. We don't want to rely on social media and search traffic. We want people getting on social media and getting on the, the, the search engines looking for us for whatever the reason, right? We don't want it to leave it to chance, to leave it to a search engine, to a Google slap or to a YouTube algorithm or to a social media change. We don't want all those things. We don't want to be dependent on those things. They will all help us but we don't want to have our business dependent on another platform. We want people in the marketplace, in their house, on their mobile device, wherever they are, in their car. We want them thinking about us. We want them looking for what it is we have. Now, that might be too lofty a goal for what you're, you're trying to do with your PLR. You might be thinking, hey, man, I just want to make I just want to make, you know, a hundred dollars right that that could be where you are but I'm talking about building a long-term business with what it is you have in in information marketing and it is possible so you want people with your name on their lips in their brain looking for you that's what we're trying to build and so 
we're going to get into the particulars of the research, but this is what you want to kind of focus on so that, again, you turn the table around so that you're not seated at the table saying, please give me the work, please give me your business, where people are coming to you instead coming to the table saying, will you please work with me? Will you please sell me something? Will you please give me more of what you have? That is our goal inside of getting or inside of information marketing and becoming an expert in our niche. So with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.